in in biblical numerology the the number eight stands for new beginning wow. that is why god created man on the six in six days on the sixth day and then on the seventh day god rested how about the eighth day the eighth day was the beginning of the week wow. all right so seven day is the end and then eighth day is the beginning of the week that is why jesus resurrected on the eighth day he resurrected on the eighth day the church was born on the eighth day the day of pentecost was on the eighth day mm. why because the eighth day means that god has started a new phase wow. so we are in month number eight which means mm. that you have entered a month of new beginnings. Amen. It's a month of new beginnings. Believe God and connect yourself and Amen. you know connect yourself to that prophetic word and the prophetic season. It's an intensely prophetic season. And I believe that yeah. God is up to doing something marvelous, something amazing, something new, something fresh for you. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God <laughs> I'm reading John uh, Genesis chapter 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was without form and void void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of the Lord the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters mm. darkness was on the face of the deep when you look at the face of the deep it's just full of darkness it did not what was happening in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 did not depict anything that looked like a testimony mm. 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 Wow. It didn't depict wow. anything that looked like there is there is uh, there's good news ahead. Mm. When you look at Genesis chapter one, the situation was so grim and it was a global situation. It wasn't just a family one. It wasn't just a private one. It was a global, universal situation. It was grim. It, wow. There was no sign of possibility anywhere. Mm. A Bible says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the, the deep. Oof. And the Spirit of God, that is what makes the difference, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Jesus could not start his ministry without the Spirit of God coming upon him. Right, the right. Spirit of God was upon the face, was hovering upon the face of the waters. Yeah. And God said, Yesterday we saw how Peter was was in the boat and they were all afraid and Jesus said his eye fear not and Peter said okay if it is you then tell me to come yeah. if it's you then be big to come that's what we saw yesterday and Jesus said come the word was enough the word was enough in the same way the darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God hovered over the waters and then God said let there be and what happened there was there was no sign that light could ever come. But all mm. that was was the Spirit of God to move and the Word of God to come. When we, when we, we are taking this time of fasting to, to seek the face of God, that His Spirit will move over our lives, mm. that His hand will be upon us, mm. that we will see the power of God at work in our lives. That's Amen. what this fasting is. So, so we are drawing into the, to the Spirit of God. Mm. The Spirit of God works heavily with fasting. Uh, Jesus never fasted in the Bible until the Holy Spirit came upon him. The Bible said, and he was driven by the Spirit to the wilderness. Luke chapter 4, verse 1. He was driven. He was led by the Spirit to the world where he fasted. So the Spirit of God does a lot with, the, with fasting. In, in Acts chapter 13, in Acts chapter 13, verse um, verse 2, Bible says that as they ministered and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, when we fast, it creates the room for the Spirit of God to move upon our lives, to, to, to do what He can do in our lives, to visit our situation. I see God visiting somebody's situation Amen. in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so, Bible says, as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Jesus himself, when the Holy Spirit came upon him, he led him to the wilderness to fast, where the devil tempted him. So, the Holy Spirit works with fasting. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But, but as, as is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit. spirit. By his, his spirit. spirit. God has revealed them to us by his spirit. So he says that even though I has not seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of any man what hmm. God has prepared for those who love him. He said, but God has, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knows no man but the spirit of God. Uh, the spirit of God. He said, the spirit, you don't know what is in my spirit. Okay. You don't know what is in your, that guy you saw, that lady you are talking to. You don't know what was what's in her spirit, mm -hmm. what she's planning within her. What is what what is what is what 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 she is intending within her unless she speaks mm. it. So if she doesn't speak it, you can't know what is inside him. Even mm. though sometimes people will speak, they may say one thing but mean something else. Mm. That is why Jesus could tell G Judas, Judas, whatever you have to do, do it now. And Jesus told them, one of you will betray me. They couldn't believe. Who, which of us cannot be? Because they don't know what is in the spirit of Judas. So. No man, no man knows what is in a man except the spirit of the man which is inside him. Mm. Even so, Bible says in the same way, nobody knows what is in God's agenda and God's plan. We are praying that we will come in alignment with God's purpose, God's agenda, and God's plan for this moment, this season. And Bible says that nobody knows what is in the plan of God. Nobody knows what is in the mind of God. So he says that, for what no i reading again verse 11 for what man knows the the things of a man save the spirit the spirit of of man which is in him even so if when you read the bible you come across these kind of phrases even so it's so important likewise even so in the same way much more than also so here he said even so the things of god uh, even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Verse 12. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might freely know the things that are freely given to us of God. We have received the Spirit. We have, we have the installation. We have the app, spiritual app, application. Mm. on our hard drive system is internally you okay. have what it takes to know the mind of god concerning wow. your life wow. concerning your future concerning the decision you have to make uh, you don't have an excuse to be confused amen. Wow. because wow. you have what it takes mm. you have wow. what it takes to assess to access what is in God's mind, what is in God's plan? Bible says that in I think in Jeremiah 23, I think verse 10 or something like that, it says the way of a man is not in himself. Mm. Mm. The way of a man is not in himself. The decisions you are supposed to make that will bring you laughter. It's 10 23. Thank you. The decisions you are supposed to make that is meant that are meant to bring you laughter, breakthrough, turn around. You, it's not yourself. You don't know it. You don't know it. 
oh lord i know that the way of man is not in himself it's not it is not in man that works to direct his steps wow the way wow. of a man is not in himself that's mm. how come sometimes wow. if you don't have a map or a sad nav you can got you can get lost you can get missing or yeah. lost. You, you you don't know where you're going because the way is not in yourself the way of a man how much even if natural things is not yourself how much major things of life that are governed by the things of the spirit mm. wow. the way of a man is not in himself wow. the way of a man is not in himself that is why we need the holy spirit more in romans chapter 8 verse 14 he said as many as are led by the spirit so the holy spirit is there to lead us as many as are led by the he leads many people and i see many people on this platform being led by the holy spirit amen but i see many people on this platform being led by the holy spirit amen. the spirit himself leads us so the, the, uh, reading that that scripture again the scripture says that um for no man knows what's in a man except the the spirit of a man that is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man save the spirit of God. And then the verse 12 said, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit yeah, which uh, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Now I'm reading now 1 Corinthians 2 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us by God. Mm. Yeah. There are things that are speaking for you. There are things Amen. that are waiting for your destiny. It's packaged from above for you, but you must be able to receive the Spirit of God to know how to assess it. I see somebody accessing, accessing your testimony, accessing Amen. your next phase, Amen. next level, you and your household in the name of Jesus. We shout a living Amen. Amen. And uh, it says that uh, verse 13, which things we, we uh, which things also first corinthians 4 13 which things also we speak not in in the words which man's wisdom teaches but we which the holy spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual mm -hmm. so as we speak we are speaking spiritual language right spiritual with spiritual implications and insights so it says when we speak, we don't speak even, we don't speak with just ordinary words, but we speak with words which the Holy Spirit impresses and inspires our hearts to use. That next, that next interview will work for you. Amen. That next interview, the Lord will lead you and put the words in your mouth because he has chosen to give you that job in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 So Amen. shall it be. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So it says that which things we speak not with with words, uh, not with wisdom taught by words, human or words taught by human wisdom, but we speak with words taught by the Spirit of God, comparing yeah. spiritual things with spiritual. But watch this. He said, however, but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually descended. That's where the problem is. What God is doing in your life, it requires compliance and um, alliance with the Holy Spirit. Working together, cooperation with the Holy Spirit. But how can, it, how can God do it when the Spirit, your link with the Spirit has been severed? has been weakened because bible says that in the beginning god created the heavens the, the earth was without form and void and the spirit of god hovered upon the face of the deep the spirit of god hovered moved upon the surface on the face of the deep even though the, uh, uh, on the face of the waters and even though darkness has covered the face the the, the the face of the earth and there wasn't any sign of breakthrough in light or in view the spirit of god was moving and that's why we need the spirit of god to move in our lives for your next breakthrough for your next i'm talking about this year i believe god i know it from my spirit but this year it will be a good year for many of you listening amen. to me amen thank you lord 